Now, because this is a baseball event, we're going to introduce our uh, our speakers and honor guests uh, in baseball style today. Uh, it only makes sense since we're on a baseball field. So, uh, my name is Tom Burns. I'm going to serve as your MC for the next uh, few minutes. It's my pleasure to announce that leading off today will be the president of Niagara University, the Reverend James J. Marr, CM. First time ever leading off, huh? Well, this might be the first time ever, too. I don't know. Betting second, the executive vice president of Niagara University, Dr. Deborah Colley. Batting third today, the athletic director, Simon Gray. Batting fourth, New York State, fourth cleanup spots assemblyman, New York State assemblyman, Angelo Marinello. Oh, exactly right. Batting fifth, New York State Senator Robert Ort. Not often a pitcher bats in the sixth spot, but batting sixth, pitcher and board of trustee John Rumchick. <laughs> it's just not often, I said. Batting seventh, the head baseball coach from Niagara University, Rob McCoy. And batting eighth from Anastasi Trucking and Paving Company, Gary Anastasi. It feels like a baseball day here for this great event. Thank you all for coming out today. Baseball is strong at Niagara University, and Division I baseball is strong here and at our uh, regional rivals here. So we're, we're great, uh, grateful to have this announcement for you today. Without any further ado, I introduce our leadoff hitter, the, hitter, the Reverend James J. Marr, the 26th president of Niagara University. Thank you, Tom. And uh, welcome, everyone, for this wonderful day, historic day, and special day for Niagara University. Um, about a year and a half into the presidency of Niagara, um, one Sunday morning I opened my email, and there was an email that was tagged, um, community member and baseball team. And so I was thinking, you know, on a Sunday morning, to open your email from an email from the community that regards one of your athletic teams is typically not good news. Uh, but it was not what I expected. It was a parent of a cancer survivor who was at a recent event that Friday night uh, called the Walk for Survivors. And it was a memorial mem remembrance ceremony for those who passed away from cancer, but also those who are survivors of cancer. And she wrote to me about our baseball team. And she said, I just want to tell you that you have a group of remarkable young men on that team. Uh, they came to our event. They walked with us. They participated in the service. They spent time with the children and the adults who were there, and they are a great credit to your university. Having had interaction with Coach McCoy and with the team, and with our student athletes in general, um, I was really on reflection not surprised uh, by that email, because it's been my experience as well, uh, that our baseball student athletes really believe in the three pillars of the student athlete stool. Academic excellence, athletic excellence, and community service and engagement. So I congratulate Coach McCoy, uh, the student athletes, the parents, uh, all those who put such sweat equity into this project and to this program. I also want to say as well that today is also about the investment through baseball at Niagara University, but also beyond baseball. We regard this state-of-the-art facility as something that will be a treasure and a resource and an asset 
for our entire campus community and also for our larger regional community as well. Uh, you see the young people who are here today dressed in uniforms and you see the even younger people who are here as little leaguers who someday we hope will play on this field in the not too distant future. But we really believe that the refurbishment and the transformation of this space is consistent with Niagara University's commitment to its investment in the larger Western New York region, Niagara County, and the city of Niagara Falls. We are a bridge to the larger community, a bridge that has the treasure of a wonderful learning environment where teaching, service, and research happen every day. And we see ourselves as a fulcrum for economic, social, and educational development. So I'd like to say that today is another example of the longstanding commitment of Niagara University to leverage our facilities, not only for our campus community, but for our greater community, to create a vibrant, living, learning community that began well under the, ten the tenure of President Father Joseph Levesque and continues today. The Elizabeth Ann Clune Theater, the Dwyer Arena, the Gallagher Center, the Castellani Art Museum, the B. Thomas Galassano Center, the Clay Dining Commons, and the renovation of Global Field are prime examples of how we seek to create that vibrant, living, learning community that drives people and communities to this campus to enjoy its beauty, its, beauty, its learning environment, and its wonderful Vincentian and Catholic culture. So today, we celebrate the investment that we make in this field that is the power of Niagara University. Thank you for being here today. Father said if he, he went too long, he wanted me to go to the bullpen, call him Kaplan, but it was perfect, Father, thank you. I do want to recognize a few other people who have uh, come to join us today. Father did mention uh, the Whirlpool Blue Jays, 12 and under, who won the Western New York District Championship and then competed in the Little League World Series sectionals. We have a couple members here from the Whirlpool Blue Jays. Thanks for coming out, guys. Uh, Nicholas Melson, City Administrator from Mayor Deister's office, is coming out with us today. Thanks, Nicholas, for being with us. Brian Crosby, who's a member of the Board of Trustees of Niagara University and the Chairman of the Athletic Committee of the Board of Trustees. Brian, thanks for being with us this afternoon. Kathleen Neville is also with us, a member of the Niagara University Board of Trustees. Thank you, Kathleen, for being with us. A couple of labor union members, Lyle Evans from the Operating Engineers is with us. Lyle, thanks for being with us. And Billy Grace from Local 91. From CHA, the designer of this great project, uh, Henry Little is with us today. Henry. And Joe Malucci, the project manage, manager from Anastasi, who will be the project manager on the project. Thanks for coming with us, being with us today. Betting second in our speakers today. Uh, this is a little bit like my two worlds colliding when I get to do this here. So, uh, The director of athletics, Simon Gray. Thank you very much, Tom. For me, today is a symbol of the experiences that I get to have as the Director of Athletics at Niagara University every day. And what makes our university so special is the collaborations that are possible. And when we all work together, the incredible things uh, that can be done here, not only for our university, but for our region. You'll look around and you'll see Vincentian Fathers. You'll see members of our university administration. You'll see our Board of Trustees. You'll see parents of former student athletes, parents of current student athletes, parents of student athletes who are still to come to Niagara University. There are several alumni here 
We have faculty. We have staff members from our university. All of those folks here to celebrate the new home for Purple Eagles baseball. The new John P. Bobo Field will not only be a showpiece for our department, but it will also be a showpiece for the university. It's, it's showing progress and the importance that athletics has for our institution. Not only are our baseball student athletes out here today, but we have student athletes from other Division I programs. We have coaches from other Division I programs. Another symbol of how strong we are when we work together. Father's story was absolutely perfect that he led off with today. I'm so proud of our baseball student athletes and the things that they accomplish, not only on the field, in the classrooms, but in the community. Uh, they are tremendous young men. They've been raised right. Coach McCoy and his staff have done a nice job. Our faculty and staff have done a nice job of supporting them. And ultimately, what we hope is they are productive citizens of our world. So the renovations that will be done at this field honor them. It honors those who have played here before, and it should be a recruiting advantage for those who will play and win championships here in the future. Truly a symbol for many years to come of the success of Niagara University and its athletics department. As I close, I would like to thank all of you in the audience today, all of you watching on Facebook Live, technology is amazing, and all of you that couldn't be here with us today who have invested in this project. We're very close. We're rounding third, we're headed for home in the fundraising to get the entire field transformed. Thank you to all of you who are here. Thank you to those who have invested. Enjoy the day. Thank you, Simon. Thank you for being with us and your leadership in the athletic department that brings us here today. Our, our next hitter is the New York State Assemblyman, Angelo Morinello. Angelo. It is truly an honor to be standing here today. As I drove up, I reflected upon when I was very young and Niagara University encompassed a lot more than it is today as far as land. When the, cave of the, when the power authority took over, they treated Niagara University kind of like the Dutch treated the Indians when they came to New York City. They threw them a few beads, they threw them a couple fish, and then they took the golf course. They took the cemetery. They took the road, and they took their land. But through the leadership, through the years, where, where we are today, I also reflected on the fact that this is named after John Bobo. John Bobo was a Congressional Medal of Honor winner. He was from Niagara Falls. He was an inspiration to all. And to have this field named after John Bobo brings to mind the need for all of those that come here and play to think about the namesake, think about the inspiration, think about dedication, dedication to Niagara University, to the community, and to the fellow students. I think it is a worthwhile project, and I endorse the completion, and I'm proud to be here for the commencement. Thank you very much. Thank you, Assemblyman, for your support and your leadership of the area, certainly, and of the university. Uh, our next hitter is the New York State Senator, Robert Orr. Bob? Well, it's great to be here. Uh, I can't think of a better day weather-wise to be out here on the baseball field. Uh, and I certainly, you know, Father uh, Marr, I want to thank you for your leadership, but I couldn't help but notice when, when Father was talking about when he was checking his email on a Sunday. Father, Sunday is the day of rest. You should know that, come on. Um, but that shows you that Father is always working. Uh, and, you know, days like this don't just happen. They happen because of a vision, and that vision starts at the top with the leadership. And we have great leadership here at Niagara University from Father Marr, Dr. Colley, the athletic director, uh, and a host of other folks who are here today uh, that have made this possible. You know, I come to Niagara University, it seems like every couple of weeks, whether it's the clay dining facility, the, the, the renovated baseball field, uh, or a host of other new announcements, this university is growing to a place where it's no longer just a place where you send your kid to be educated. This is becoming a force in the community. It's becoming, a, as, he, as the father said, a place not only for educational, but economic, 
and cultural change. And uh, I think that's a real welcome uh, development here in uh, Niagara County, and certainly in the city of Niagara Falls. Earlier this morning, uh, I attended a, uh, an event, an announcement. Uh, the governor was in town uh, to announce a developer for the Hotel Niagara uh, in the city of Niagara Falls. Certainly a welcome development, a welcome announcement uh, to have an, uh, an old building, a building that is very synonymous with the past uh, in Niagara Falls, and to hopefully breathe new life into that building. I think there's something special about Yes, yes, you can, can applaud it. You can applaud at any time during I'm speaking. That's fine. Um, but it, it's it's you know I think there's something special about renovating, taking something that's been there for a long time, that people say, well, this is what it used to be, and then making it part of your future going forward. And that, that takes a certain talent, and again, that takes leadership and vision. And that's what again we're seeing here uh, today in Niagara University. And so uh, I think I want to commend. The leadership of the university, and I do think it's important. You know, when my colleague in the assembly, uh, Angela Mornell, was talking about who this is named after, congressional of medal recipient. I just don't don't forget. We get to enjoy America's pastime because of the sacrifice of America's bravery. So I want to thank uh, all those folks. I want to thank the folks who are here who made this a reality, and uh, just say thank. It's great to be a part of. It's great to be a partner with Niagara University. Great to represent you in Albany, and uh, God bless you. Thank you, Senator, for being with us and for your leadership as well. Uh, one of the key uh, drivers of this is a member of our Board of Trustees. Uh, and now pitching. You want to pitch, you want to do it from the mound? You want to talk back there? A bit more comfortable? You just moved up? Yeah. Uh, board of Trustee member and former Niagara University Purple Eagle pitcher and decent hitter, as he told me, uh, John Romchuk. John? I figured I could tell Tom that because he wasn't here. But Ed was, and I didn't get to hit very much, <laughs> like not at all. Um, we didn't play in many warm days like this, Ed. This is, we always played in the cold and the wind. Uh, back when we played, the baseball season was over before the school year. Uh, it's much different today. Um, as a fellow alum and a fellow uh, a past Purple Eagle uh, baseball player, and now board of trustee member, this really is a, a proud day. This has been a, a long talked about project uh, for many years, and it's finally come to this day, and I'd like to thank uh, the, uh, Ed Warnicke in particular uh, for all your persistency in making this uh, become a reality, but the baseball alumni for your donations and all the friends and family of Niagara University for making this possible, and as Father Father Mayor said, this really will be another gem uh, on the university campus for not only our student athletes to enjoy, uh, but also for the community as a whole. So again, uh, a proud day indeed, and um, thank you all for, for making this possible. Thank you, John. Thanks for being here today, your support on the trustees, and of course your support in this project here. Uh, a proud alum, it's great to have our, our alumni with us and represent us uh, in such leadership roles. Uh, batting last on the speaking agenda, sorry about that coach, uh, the head coach of Niagara University, Rob McCoy. Thanks for coming, everyone. Uh, it's gonna be hard for me, I'm just gonna tell you right up to not stand up here and get emotional about this. Um, I see a lot of familiar faces out here, people that uh, that I've bended the ear of. They've, they've let me wear them out over the years about how important this was for our program to take to take to the next step. Um, you know, we we have six core values here in Niagara Baseball. Uh, it makes up the acronym EAGLES. It's excellence, accountability, grit, love, energy, and selfless. And We teach those every day, and that's what it took, all six of those core values from the inside of our program out is what it took to get this done. And that's why I'm, that's why I'm emotional, that's what makes me proud of this. My job is to stand up here and tell you how valuable it is to our program. Um, you know, this, this, this new field is gonna allow us to get on the field earlier 
there's actually nice days here in January and February, believe it or not. Uh, and, and, and we could get outside. And we've been able to, you know, use the soccer field. Um, but this will allow us to, to get on a baseball field, allow us to scrimmage, and allow us to do baseball-specific things. Uh, um, and, and, you know, there's been years uh, where we, you know, we're into conference play. We're, we're halfway into conference play, and we've only had four practices on a baseball field. Um, and, and this is going to change all of that. Um, Competition-wise, it's going to allow us to play earlier here, and it's going to make sure that we play our home games at home. Three out of the last four years, we've had to move a conference home series on the road to the opponent's site, which is it's not ideal. Um, you know, additionally, it's going to help in recruiting. Uh, Coach Batafor has done a phenomenal job. Recruiting great young men here as it is. We've got phenomenal talent to this, to the to the rusty chain link fence in the wood dugouts. Um, so I can only imagine what we'll, what we'll be able to do now is, 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 is match these guys and continue to bring in players that, that make us all better as well. Um, and uh, so recruiting-wise, everyone wants to be a part of not just a great facility where we, can, where we can develop and we can get everything we want done on the field, but also where they'll come to a school where they see that the administration believes in what we're doing enough to do something like this. You know, when we, we have families on campus and, and, and they see the plans for this and now they'll see the reality of this, they say, wow, this school really cares about their student athletes and their baseball team. And, and that, that goes, that, that, that uh, it's immeasurable. Um, and then, you know, finally, like Simon said, the, the, the community. Uh, you know, this, this facility has been basically dormant in the summertime because it's, it really wasn't good enough to, to have people come here to see this, to say, yes, I want to come to Niagara University, or, you know, I, my kid played here. You know, we, we have the, the Junior Purple Eagles program in Dwyer, and kids grow up, you know, wanting to play hockey uh, at Niagara because they're here and they see, and it might not even be, it might be a, a little brother or a big sister who, it, who comes on a campus and says, wow, I really love this campus. The more people we get here, the, the better chance we have to sell such a wonderful university and with uh, with this facility here we'll, we'll have people in and out of here constantly uh, local youth regional youth uh, the more people we get on this campus to see what's happening here the more the more uh, that will resonate because it, this is such a wonderful place and people will see that um, so with that said uh, I'm honored and humbled that I see the faces that I see. And I thank everybody for their hard work in this, who had a hand in this. I know it was challenging, but um, but we got it done, and I I'm, I'm couldn't be more proud of that. So thank you all. Great job, Coach. Thanks for your leadership of the team and, and the, the stuff, as, as Father mentioned, the, the, the things that the team does outside, off, off the baseball field that they do in the community. It's, it's wonderful. It's a testament to you, you as a coach and you as a person. Um, we, we had the people facing this way so they wouldn't look at the rusty backstop, but thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> Mikey just ruined the whole thing. Well, it's a beautiful day here at the ballpark, uh, one of the hottest days of the year, so why don't we do some manual labor? We can ask our people here. We'd also ask Kathleen and Brian, would you please come up with a shovel for you? Uh, we do have some working uniforms for you. Mike Cheswell and Steve Butler are going to hand you some hats to wear. I'd ask the members in the purple jerseys, why don't you come up and stand behind them? <laughs> there you go. That's why we use the black hats today, Father. <laughs> and we're just going to form a semicircle around the pile of dirt here. Grab your shovels.
equipment. We'll make sure the fibers get placed. And on the count of three, we'll throw the dirt right on the home plate there. Everybody set? Everybody look up for a picture real quick. A couple of pictures. Everybody good? Photos good? One, two, and three. That's going to wrap up today's event for us. We do have baseball tradition. We have some hot dogs. We have some Cracker Jack over here uh, and some drinks. Uh, enjoy. Thank you for being with us for this great announcement. And we we'll look forward to opening day 2018. Thank you, everybody.